Hey guys, it's Sundown and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little Hobby Lobby Dollar Tree in Joann's Hall and I just wanted to share that with you guys. So we'll start off with Hobby Lobby because it's the smallest haul. So the first thing I got was this tissue paper and I used this for my Happy Mail packaging and I was supposed to use it today and I forgot to use it. That's why the whole reason I bought it. But I forgot, so oh well. The next thing that I picked up is this double-sided foam tape. I ran out and I needed some more and this is perfect for shakers. It's a perfect size. It's one fourth inch. You guys hear the piano? My son's playing the piano in the background. The next thing I got was these sunflower flowers in the fall section. I didn't see any uh, Christmas stickers or flowers or anything just yet so I picked these sunflowers up because these were so pretty and they look so real yeah mini sunflowers so cute and the next thing I got are these fall paper craft pumpkin gemstones I just thought they were so cute so that's my little Hobby Lobby haul I was going to Hobby Lobby, Michael's, Joann's, because I was looking for the blades for my trimmer, and I finally found it at Joann's. So, speaking of Joann's, we'll do Joann's haul next. <clears throat> so, what I went to Joann's for... Oh. It was in my pocket. I got these... Uh, trimmer blades, two pack, the size K. I had accidentally grabbed a different um, size and so I had to return those and then I finally found the one that I needed for my fris Fiskars. I can't find the We Are Memory Keepers um, blades anywhere that fit my board. I, I must have an old board or something. Not sure. So that's that. So I got some Maggie Holmes round trip. You guys have to keep in mind that for me, I haven't been cra crafting for like two years. Like I crafted like a couple of times during the last two years, but I just barely came back to crafting. I was having some, I didn't like my job and I was having some mental health issues, but I'm finally back. And anyway, um, so I got round trip. I don't know if this is her newest one. I think Parasol might be her newest one, but um, I could be wrong. Um, but here's Round Trip, and this is Maggie Holmes, my favorite. Here's a little flip through. So pretty. I love this page. I like, I'm one of those people that likes the dark matte Maggie Holmes, The Dark Pages. That's why Flourish is my favorite collection. Like yesterday, I did some crafting with the Confetti Collection and I used uh, the, her dark pieces. I like using Maggie's dark pieces. Love that page. Love it. And then I found the stickers. And remember, this is all new to me. So there's her stickers. And then I found her other stickers. These are kind of like clear stickers, like see-through. I'll just do a flip through of these as well. I'm loving the plane and the bus and all these flowers. Oh, the little banners. Oh, look, little strawberries. That's that. And then I got the round trip enamel dots. And I think that was about it for Maggie Holmes. I couldn't find any other pieces to the collection, so I'm just going to try scrapbook.com to finish my 
picking up the collection. And then the other thing is um, coming in second place. First is Maggie Holmes, second place. Uh, high second place is Paige Evans for me. I just love her craft, her um, her paper collections. And every time I craft with them, I'm so inspired. So this one I think is just in her name, just Paige Evans. It's, I think that's the name of the, this doesn't help. Let me, let me cut this open. There we go. So let's do a quick little flip through. Love that. Love that one. Love that one. <clears throat> the brighter, the better. Love that one. <sighs> yep, that's Paige Evans. Love her. And then I got some fo gold foil sheets. I kind of ran out, so I got some more. And these are $2.49. Okay, and the last thing I got are these diamond dots. They were on sale, seven for $10. I don't know how good of a sale that is because like I said, I haven't been crafting for a while. One, two, three, four, five. There's two missing. Hello, where'd you go? Huh, I'm missing my orange. I must have had it in another bag. So I got, these are premium resin dots and people put these in shakers. And so I jumped on the bandwagon. I don't know how to tell what color this is. So this is mint green. This is pink. This is peach. Oh, they, the shade num there are numbers instead of names and I got black and then yellow and then I believe I got purple and orange for Halloween I just don't know where they went so that's it for my Joann's haul except for a pair of skeleton earrings that my daughter uh, bought but she already put them on so I can't show you okay the next thing is Dollar Tree the next and last thing is Dollar Tree so the first thing I found are these cupcake wraps. Slowly but surely, my Dollar Trees are putting things out little by little, and I'm grabbing them as I go once, like once, a, once or twice a week, just piecing everything together. So this is bats. This one has spiders and spider webs. This one has batsies. And then I found the cupcake picks, and these are the skeletons. These are the baddies. The bats, and what I plan on doing is taking the stick off and just using it as an embellishment. That's what I plan on doing. And I got the pumpkin. All right, what else did I get? I got these bones, these bag of bones. Never know what you can use them for, so I grabbed them. They're big bones. They look like dog bones, to be honest. I thought the days of the embellishment boxes at Dollar Tree were gone, but I just found this today and I grabbed one because I miss making embellishment boxes. I really miss it. I wish it didn't have this hump in the middle, but oh well. Hopefully I can use it soon. The next thing I grabbed are these, they're called palm bone bones, palm bones. They're basically like glow in the dark hands and you can use them as in dangles because they have a little hole. Oh, do these glow in the dark? Yep, they do. It says it right there on the package. Next thing I got is some ribbon and I have a Halloween swap and I'm gonna use this to wrap up my projects. 
got another one. This one has bats. So cute. And then I got this design. Got some pixie sticks for my daughter. Why do I feel like everything is missing? Like I know I'm missing one more. I thought I had one more. I guess not. So I got some foam tape. That is my ride or die. Every time I go to the Dollar Tree, I buy one. So I never run out. So now I have two. So that's good. Look what I found. These cute little adorable keychains. They're like ice cream cones. Look how cute. Yeah, I got these for Happy Mail. Um, and I got four of those because they're just too cute. You can't pass up. And then I got these picks for Happy Mail. I thought those were cute. I never seen them before in my Dollar Trees. So the last thing is I got a silhouette. I have a silhouette cameo. I've had it for a couple of years now and I do not know how to use it. It has never been used. It's a Teresa Collins pink edition, limited edition. And I'd like to, to use it. So my daughter and I are going to do it together. We're going to, um, we're going to sit down with the cameo and the MacBook and we're going to figure it out so I can put vinyl on stuff and we can make stickers and stuff. So we got some pink vinyl paper. We got some orange vinyl paper for Halloween. And I got black vinyl paper for Halloween. And I got white. I don't have any vinyl at all, so we had to buy some. So why not practice with Dollar Tree vinyl? So guys, I think that's about it. Let me take a look and see. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Oh, I just wanted to share a couple things I got in the mail. I got this acetate. I got this on Amazon and it's spider webs. And it's called Wicked Good by Rennie Looney. But it's a 12 by 12 acetate and I got two of those to make a little embellishment book with. So that's what I got those for. And then I got these in the mail. I can't remember who these are from, I'm sorry. And I didn't save the packaging. But look at these sequin mixes. This is called Pumpkin Party. And then this is called Hocus Pocus. And these sequins mixes are so cute. The next thing I got from Double Click Connect is these, is these little dew drops. And these are to put on like your cauldrons or if you're doing a beach theme. So I bought those from her. If I can figure out how to um, tag her in the video, I will put her in the description box below. And I think that's it guys. So I just wanna thank you for sticking around for this video. Hopefully it's not too long and hopefully you'll come back. Pretty soon I'll be announcing a challenge giveaway. Um, so stay tuned for that. It's I'm almost at a thousand subscribers and I really wanna get there. And so I'm gonna jump on the challenge bandwagon and see what happens maybe i'll get to a thousand and i'll start getting paid by youtube Woohoo! i'm sure not very much but i'd like to get to a thousand subscribers so anyways thank guys thanks for joining me and i'll see you in the next crafty video okay bye